here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of differential equation of higher order with constant coefficients welcome to video number 21 and in this video we are going to solve first problem okay problem number one on the topic that is Cauchy's linear equation okay very important question so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, this chapter with your friends okay by doing this you can support me so let us start solving this problem but before solving this problem i would show i would like to show you what other prop what other different problems that we are going to solve okay from video number 21 to 24 this question is in video number 21 22 23 and 24 and i am sure that after solving this question you can solve any other problem that belongs to this topic okay very important problem how to identify that this equation belongs to Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation here you can see we have x square okay again x square x x x square x x x square okay x x x cube x cube x square x square x cube x cube x square x square x x okay this is the pattern okay how to understand that this equation belongs to Cauchy's linear equation or not okay so coming to the problem number one we have to solve that is x square d square y upon dx square minus x dy upon dx plus y equals to log x okay here you can see y is dependent variable x is independent variable okay and here we have x again the order of this derivative is 2 and here the power of x is 2 okay again coming to second term here again y is dependent variable x is independent variable and the order of this derivative is 1 and here we have x to the power 1 okay so we can say that this question belongs to Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation okay so for this equation we need to put x equals to e to power t okay for this equation we need to put x equals to e to power t okay now if you take log on both side okay that is log of x okay whose base is e now here again we need to apply log okay so this will become log e to power t and base is e okay now this will come here that is t log e base e now this becomes 1 so we can write this as t okay so we can say t equals to log x base e so this is t equals to log x base e okay so we can say that after putting x equals to e to the power t t becomes e to the power sorry log x okay now again x dy upon dx is replaced by dy okay capital dy where capital d is what capital d is d upon dt okay similarly x square d square y upon dx square is replaced with d into d minus 1 into y okay and after replacing all this in equation by 1 okay let this be equation by 1 the equation becomes d into d minus 1 okay we have taken y common okay here we can write that is dy okay that is minus of d into y and here y that is 1 because we have taken y common again here you can see this is log x and what is log x that is t okay so this is my equation now after transforming this equation in symbolic form what we need to do is simply find the auxiliary equation okay to find auxiliary equation what we do is what we do is simply uh, simply co uh, equate the coefficient of y that is this part to zero okay simply uh, equate the coefficient of y to zero but i am writing m instead of writing d okay so this equation is the auxiliary equation so m into m minus 1 minus m plus 1 equals to 0 okay on if you open this bracket you will get m square minus m minus m plus 1 equal to 0 simply solve this you will get m minus 1 whole square equal to 0 so after solving this you will get value of m equals to 1 comma 1 okay so here we can say that the roots are repeated okay the roots are repeated and how to find the complementary function when the roots are repeated let me show you yes here you can see when the roots are repeated that is m1 m1 in that case complementary function becomes c1 plus x c2 e to the power m1 x okay it's complementary function that is cf equals to c1 plus x c2 it into e to the power m1 x but you need to know one thing that is here this equation is a function of t okay so we need to write complementary function equals to c1 plus t c2 okay c1 plus t c2 into e to the power t okay now after finding cf successfully now we will look to find what is pi okay so to write pi we need to 
right as this that is 1 upon d minus 1 whole square what is d minus 1 whole square this okay this is what this is d minus 1 whole square into what is this this okay that is right hand side part okay that is t now you can see here we have algebraic part okay t is means we have algebraic part so we need to write this in increasing power of d okay so to write this in increasing power of d we can take negative one common okay so that this will become positive and this will become negative okay if you write minus one common then this will become one minus d but because of this square this will become minus one whole square so minus one whole square will become one okay now we can take this to the numerator part so that this will become minus one one minus d power minus two okay if you take this in the numerator part this will become negative that is one minus d power minus two into t okay now we need to uh, know the formula how to expand this okay so using this formula which is very easy to remember i believe one minus d power minus two equals to 1 plus 2d plus 3d square plus 4d cube plus 5d power 4 plus dot 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 okay but here you can see the power of t is what 1 so we are going to write up to this much okay and after this we will put dot 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 okay because second derivative of t will become 0 okay and similarly higher powers higher order will become 0 for this so for pi okay we can write this as 1 plus 2d plus dot 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 because we are going to solve up to this into t now if you open this bracket t into 1 that is t okay plus 2 okay now d of t d of t means differentiation of t remember always that is d means the differentiation and 1 upon d means integration okay here we have d of t that is differentiation of t will become 1 so 2 into 1 will become 2 okay so after solving we get cf equals to c1 plus tc2 into e to power t and pi that is equals to t plus 2 okay so we can say that is the complete solution of the given equation that is y equals to cf plus pi okay y equals to cf plus pi and what is cf cf we have already found this okay so writing here cf okay here we have cf value and what is pi that is t plus 2 writing the value of pi that is t plus 2 here okay now after writing the cf and pi we need to yes express that in terms of x okay because this is a function of t but in the question the function the independent variable was x okay so we need to write that in terms of x and how to write x that is e to power t is x and what is log x that is t okay what is e to power t that is x and what is log x that is t okay what is t that is log x you can say so we can simply put okay that is t equals to log x and what is t that is x okay here again we have t so we can put this as log x so finally we can say that y equals to ca plus pi which is equals to c1 plus t c2 into e to power t plus t plus 2 c1 is as it is plus what is t that is log x base e okay no need to write base e okay c2 is here what is e to power t that is x okay plus what is t that is log x and here we have plus 2 as it is okay so what is more important in this problem yes that is to identify that this question belongs to Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation how to identify that you have you can see that is here we have x square here we have x square here we have x here we have x okay so in such type of problem what we need to do is simply put x equals to e to power t okay now if you put if you uh, apply log on both side okay if you take log on both side you will get t equals to log x okay whose base is e so we can set t equals to log x okay now x dy upon dx is replaced with dy okay by capital d is what d upon dt okay this is very 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 important this d is d upon dt okay again x square d square y upon dx square is replaced with d into d minus 1 into y okay remember that this two are, that this d is a function of t okay now after this we can transform this equation into this okay which is symbolic form again after writing this in symbolic form we can find the auxiliary equation from auxiliary equation we will get the roots okay roots but here the roots came as, came as to be repeated okay so we can say cf equals to this much after finding cf we can find the value of pi 
okay we can find the value of pi and after finding pi we can write the complete solution as ca plus pi okay in terms of t but we will put t equals to log x and e to power t as x okay so that the complete solution will be in terms of x okay thank you thank you so much